Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an SEQ file for your Skyrim mods. So I'm going to show you what tool you're going to need, how to create one and how to include it in your BSA when you go to upload your mod to the Nexus or any other site. So let's dive into it. OK, so why do you need an SEQ for your mod? Well, essentially without it, if you've got any quests that are set to start when the game's loaded up, so with the start game enable tag, or if you have any quests with custom dialogue that need to load up when the game does, they're not going to work unless you've got an SEQ. So what I'm talking about here, if you go into the creation kit and I go to my custom quest here, you'll see that if I've got ticked start game enabled, then that is not going to work without an SEQ file, which is essentially just a small list. It's a small file that accompanies your mod that lists all of the quests that need a bit of a kick up the backside to get going when the game loads. And obviously these same sorts of quests also hold custom dialogue. So let's go ahead, download the tool that we're going to need and create an SEQ file. OK, so the easiest way to create an SEQ file is by using XEdit or SSE Edit as it's known as. Uh, if you haven't heard of this tool, I'd be very surprised if you've been modding in the community for any length of time. Uh, it's used for a great many things. And one of the things it will do is create an SEQ for you. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and navigate to the mod page and download it. If you are using this with the old version of Skyrim, use the instructions on the mod page and ensure that you rename the executable to what you need. But let's assume that we're using this for special edition slash AE. Uh, you go to the files section, hit download, download again, and then it should download a zip file. So if we just open up my downloads folder and use something like 7-zip, WinRAR, even Windows Extractor, and just extract that to where it is. Go into it and it should have a folder for SSE edit 4.0.4. Might be a later version by the time you watch this. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. Navigate to my Skyrim Special Edition main directory. Again, if it's old version of Skyrim, it'll be in here. In tools for the old one, you'll see I've got xedit as it used to be known as. But in here, if I go under tools, you may not have a tools folder. You can go ahead and create one. It's just the cleanest place that I put it. And go ahead and paste it in here. I'm not going to do that. As you can see, I've already got it. Um, but now it's available for use. OK, so now that you've got xEdit or SSE Edit installed, how do you go about making your SEQ file? Well, interestingly, the, there is a method. It may still work that you can use Steam for this, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, it's more hassle. Um, but essentially you've got a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can do it loose, so you can literally just go into where we've stored it, go into tools, go into SSE edit, and load the main executable in here, not the clean version. Uh, and you can load it up and do it that way. Uh, if you've got stuff loose in your data folder, which I have here, so I've got uh, busy followers here, one of my latest mods I'm working on. Uh, you can do it that way or if you're one of those that likes to mod through mod organizer then just load up your mod organizer just pull that down from my other screen make that bigger uh, you'll see that in here i've got my busy followers obviously it's picking up the loose file you may have it sort of uh, stored as a, a mod that you're working on and you'll need to add the tool if it's not here uh, by default so mine isn't actually which is perfect so if you just click up here and click on edit you can go ahead under your executables and add from file. Again, navigate to your Skyrim directory, tools, where you stored it, and then add. You can probably add both of these just for this. I'll add the main one. Go ahead, click apply. OK. And then what you need to do is run SSE edit through here. So I'll do it through Mod Organizer. It'll be a very similar method through Vortex, but I'm not going to cover that because I don't use it personally. So hit run. Let that load. And I'm just going to alt click and select none. And then I'm going to click on busy followers. So the mod that I want to create an SEQ for, this has a lot of custom dialogue. So it's going to need an SEQ. Click OK. Give that a moment to load. Shouldn't take too long. OK, there you go. So it did actually take a while for me in the end. Um, this isn't as fast as my main computer, uh, the one that I do my recordings on. And again, it might vary for you. Uh, it also depends on how many masters you've got. 
Um, but essentially, once it's done it once, it tends to cache a lot of the information, and it's a lot quicker the next time that you load this up. So click on your ESP and simply alt click, go down to other and create SEQ file. Give that a few seconds. You can check the messages here to see uh, when this is loaded, obviously. And then after you've created it, you can see when it's created one. So it's got process plugins one, sequence files created. And what we'll do is just minimize that. But yeah, we'll close it actually, because that will uh, please mod organizer. And it will either add it into your overwrite, which it hasn't done, or it will just add it into your main directory. So if you go back to your main directory, go into the data folder, and if you go into SCQ, you'll see here at around the time that it says it actually created an SCQ file. So all we need to do now is make sure that when we do go ahead and package up our mod, we include the SCQ file. And that is just about it for another Creation Kit Tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. If you do want to know how to pack your mods up and make sure you include that SEQ file, follow my video that will be on the top of the screen now. That will help guide you through. Otherwise, hit that like and subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future videos if you haven't already. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all next time.